Hi, welcome to Learning Monkey. I am Vikram. In this class, we will try to understand reassembly at destination. The concepts of segmentation, fragmentation has already been discussed in our previous videos. With an example, we have discussed. If you haven't watched those videos, please watch those videos and come back here. Because without understanding those concepts, you may not be able to understand what we are going to discuss in this class. And every video in our channel is going to be part of an entire course or a playlist. Our suggestion is to follow the entire course so that you can have better understanding of the concepts. And the link for the playlist is provided in the description description below now coming to this class reassembly at destination so we have taken the example that we have discussed in the fragmentation concept uh, uh, the fields of uh, IPV header identification MF and uh, fragment offset so there we have taken an example and based upon that these are the uh, these are the fragments that are generated and uh, uh, reached at the destination so now uh, we are using the same example and now how the reassembly at the destination happens that we will try to understand so in re in practice in practice this is how the network uh, layer will be this is uh, this is the interconnection of routers and here a wants to communicate with b and this interconnection of routers this interconnection of routers this is what the objective of the network layer so this is where the network layer will work so here in the interconnection of routers it uses a connection less oriented service in packet switching we have discussed two types of service connection oriented and connection less and here in this connection less uh, uh, oriented service the packets will be redirected so they will go in the uh, uh, they will go there is no specific path mentioned so one packet may go in this direction another packet in this direction and another packet may go in this in this direction so in this way uh, and there is a possibility for this link to be uh, have lesser capacity so there is a possibility for fra for fragmentation of this packet that that is being transmitted through this link so there is a possibility so there are uh, there is no order so the packets that are transmitted through this uh, in, in internet so are received in in order so they they, they are not received uh, in a specific order so so that the, the the objective of the destination is to reorder those packets and combine them and provide it to the upper layer okay the transport layer so this is the this these are the packets that are generated these are the packets that are received at the receiver received at the receiver this is our first packet second packet third packet fourth and fifth and these packets are uh, are received uh, are not received in order now how the reassembly will be taken place uh, is going to be taken place at the destination so the two very fields that decides the reassembly in in an efficient way is mf and a, a fragment offset so what what are the what is the logic behind this mf and uh, between the fields of uh, uh, among the fields of mf and uh, offset fragment offset so for example if the value of mf is equal to 1 if the value of mf is equal to 1 what does that mean it means that it means that so there are lots of packets that are following it means that the fragmentation is done fragmentation is done for example if the offset is 0 so what does that mean see here mf is 1 mf is 1 and the fragment offset is 0 it means that this is the first packet this is the first packet and for example if you consider uh, mf is equal to 0 mf is equal to 0 for example see here this condition if mf is equal to 0 what does that mean it means that there are no fragments does it mean that this is uh, the, the, this is going to be the one and only packet no fragments means only one packet has been received can we decide that if the value of mf is equal to 0 can we decide that there are no fragments further and this is the one and the only packet that has been received uh, that, that belongs to this uh, uh, belongs to this uh, fragment belong to this packet with identification number 80 no we cannot decide that if the value of mf is equal to 0 and offset is 
value other than value other than zero if the offset is not equal to zero so what it means it means that this is going to be the last packet this is going to be the last fragment okay and uh, what if the value of mf is zero and the fragment f fragment offset is also zero what if the value of uh, mf is equal to zero and the fragment offset is also equal to zero it means that this is the only so the packet that has been transmitted by the source has not been fragmented has not been fragmented so it, it will take it as it is and it will send it to its upper layer there are no fragments means there is no need of reassembly re right for example if the value of uh, mf is equal to one and uh, offset is not equal to zero offset is not equal to zero means and the value of mf is equal to one means it is an intermediary packet see here for example if you take uh, this packet here the offset is equal to sorry mf is equal to one and the offset is not equal to zero any number other than zero if this is the case it means that this packet is intermediary packet in between packet okay between the first packet and the last packet there are many intermediary packets intermediate packets so it means that if the if the mf is equal to 1 and the fo is not equal to 0 means it is an intermediate intermediary packet so there are different logics that are hidden within these two fields by using these fields by using these two fields and also header length and total length we can reassemble the things in a very easy way so how that is done that we will try to understand by the algorithm that is used by the reassembly used for the reassembly here so what does the algorithm states destination should identify the datagram uh, uh, is fragmented from so whether the datagram has been fragmented or not that has to be identified by the destination so how how it can identify there are three different possibilities one is so what are the three different possibilities which with which we can say that the the datagram or the packet has been uh, uh, the the datagram has been uh, fragmented it is mf is equal to one and f uh, f uh, fragment offset is equal to zero so it means that there are further packets so the packet has been uh, the datagram that has been sent by the sender has been fragmented and the other one is this is also states that fragmentation happened this also states that fragmentation has been done and the only sorry this this does not say that the fragmentation is done zero and zero mf is equal to zero and fragment offset is, is also equal to zero means the fragmentation has not been done so that decision has to be made by the destination first so how it is going to do by using this mf and fragment offset the next next uh, step in the algorithm is destination should identify all fragments belonging to the same datagram from the identification number so it has to gather so the second step states that it has to wait for a certain period of time and it has to gather all the fragments that are received at the destination and it has to decide that these are the packets which belong to the source how that can be done it can be done by using identification field see here in this all the fragments is having the same identification fields it means that these all these fragments that are received at the destination belonging to the same same datagram so the, which has been fragmented what is the third step the third step is identify the first fragment it is very important from here the reassembly starts identify the first fragment how can we identify the first fragment we, if the offset is set to zero it means that this is the first fragment and also the mf should be set to one if the mf is set to one and the offset is set to zero it means that this is the first fragment next identify subsequent frag fragments we have to identify the subsequent fragments how that identification can be done using header length total length and fragmentation offset and the equation that is used is total length minus header length plus offset we will try to understand this okay repeat until mf is equal to zero so this step has to be 
repeated this step has to be repeated until the value of mf is equal to 0 with the value of mf is equal to 0 what does that mean it means that this is the last packet this is the last fragment okay so now this step identifying subsequent subsequent fragments using header length total length and fragment offset so let's try to understand this by using this uh, okay so how that can be done how that identification can be sub uh, we have identified so in the third step we have identified that the fra first uh, fragment how we have identified if the fo is equal to zero fragment offset is equal to zero it means that this is the first fragment now the subsequent fragments has to be identified how that identification is done is total length minus header length so what is the header length it has been given in five five means it is not the header length we have to multiply it by four so this logic we have discussed in the uh, 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 in the fields where we have discussed about uh, in the previous videos we have discussed about this so to get the actual header length we have to divide the number that is there in the header length with four so which is equal to 20 now total length what is the total length for the first uh, uh, for the first uh, uh, first fragment it is 300 so how can we from this equation we are going to get the offset we are going to get the offset of the next subsequent next subsequent fragment how we are going to get that so try to get this point from the here it is very important the total length is 300 the total length is 300 minus header length which is 20 plus fragment offset plus fragment offset what is the fragment offset for this it is zero so what is the value the value for this is 280 what we got it is 280 and this 280 the value that we got is the is the fragment offset for the sub next subsequent fragment see here 280 is the uh, fragment offset for the next subsequent fragment okay now we are going to identify from all the packets that has been the fragments that has been arrived we are going to identify the uh, packet with the uh, with the uh, what we call it as uh, with, the, with the with the fragment offset as 280 now this is going to be the second packet we are going to decide that this is going to be the second packet next repeat the algorithm see here repeat the same step next what we have to do total length here the total length is 220 220 minus header length which is 20 plus offset what is the offset here it is 280 it is 280 so how much is this value it is 220 minus 20 200 200 plus uh, uh, 280 which is uh, 480 which is 480 with that we can we have to identify the fragment offset with 480 so this is the fragment offset with 480 now we can identify that this is the third packet so we are getting the things in a sequence so these packets these fragments may be arrived at the destination uh, 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 may not may not be arrived at the destination in order now we are arranging them in such a way we are reassembling them in such a way so that we are going to get the original packet as it is okay now next one third uh, to identify the fourth packet what we have to do we have to we have to use this and we have we are going to get the uh, uh, fragment offset of the uh, we have identified the third packet right now using these values we can get the fourth packet so how we are going to get it is 300 total length minus again header length plus plus fragment offset which is 480 which is equal to which is equal to it is 200 is it 200 no it is 280 so it is equal to 760 okay and the similarly we have identified that this is the fourth packet next by using these values we, we are going to get the uh, last packet so here here is the mf so again we have to check for the mf is the value of mf is equal to uh, zero no it is one so go for go do the do the step again here 
इट इज टू ट्वेंटी माइनस ट्वेंटी प्लस सेवन सिक्सटी विच इज इक्वल टू नाइन सिक्सटी विच इज इक्वल टू नाइन सिक्सटी सो वी वी हैव आइडेंटिफाइड दैट दिस इज द लास्ट दिस इज द Uh, this is the fifth fragment. Whether it is going to be the last packet or not, it is decided by MF is equal to zero. It is decided by MF is equal to zero. So, do we need to do this calculation again? No, it is not required because this is the last packet. Now, all these packets will be rearranged in an order uh, by taking off this, taking off this header, taking off all these headers. Uh, these data bytes will be rearranged in the order now one more point that is very important to understand in the first packet we have further division actually the data part of this is 260 and within that we are having 20 bytes of data which is a transport header see here now this this header will also get uh, uh, discarded uh, will get removed decapsulated now the first 20 bytes is the transport header so by recombining reassembling assembling all the data values it will be sent back to its upper layer which is transport layer now using the first 20 bytes of the data the transport layer uh, fields uh, the transport layer will work and based upon that the data will be received back to the application layer so this point is very important the first 20 bytes which we have already discussed in our previous videos the first 20 bytes is the uh, header for the transport layer the transport layer header will be there in the first fragment okay so this is all about reassembly at destination hope you got the clarity on this concept thanks for watching if you haven't subscribed to our channel please subscribe to our channel and press bell icon for the latest updates and if you have any doubts regarding this concept please post your doubt in the comment section below and if you feel that this video is helpful to you please give us a like symbol and please share this video with your friends so that they will also get benefited thanks for watching